Americans love cooking food in their air fryers and eating food that comes on a stick. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make a viral chicken recipe that uses both, so you can get the best of both worlds. Let's start off with a bunch of thin wooden steaks that you would normally use to fight off some skinny vampires. To fight off my fears of spontaneous combustion, I'm gonna soak this fire food in a water bath for around 30 minutes, since we're gonna cook these in the air fryer. While those are soaking, let's make a seasoning for the chicken. Combine a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of paprika, a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon each of onion powder and black pepper. Then give that a whisk. Then pour this over two pounds of cubed chicken thighs or breasts, along with a tablespoon of avocado oil or any other neutral oil. And you're gonna toss this to coat. You could also add everything to a Ziploc bag and mix it. It would save yourself from having to wash this extra bowl, but I decided to save the Ziploc's bag's life. It's not your time. Now here's where we get to play with our food and our wooden spears. Pierce each chicken cube with the skewer, sliding it down pretty far. You wanna pack these skewers tightly with the chicken. No loosey-goosey pieces of chicken in this recipe. They need to touch. While I continue to play with my food, let's chat about what I'm doing to keep this chicken from getting dry. Because I'm using chicken breast, it's really easy to overcook it and then you're left with dry, chalky chicken, which is never a good thing. The key for the best chicken is to maintain the hydration within the chicken and for that, I'm gonna use an air fryer. Just like if I wanted to have plump, soft skin, I need to maintain hydration in my skin. And for that, I'm not gonna use an air fryer, but I'm actually gonna use Element Electrolytes. It's no secret that drinking lots of water is one of the best ways to have healthy, glowy skin and prevent wrinkles. As you age, your skin becomes drier, so it's important to maintain your skin's hydration from the outside using moisturizers or lotions. And you can do that from the inside by drinking water and drinking electrolytes. With its science-backed formula of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium, the electrolytes in Element will help pull the water deep into the skin layers and into your cells. Right now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order. It's a great way to try all eight of their flavors free with any Element order. All you have to do is go to drinkelement.com slash ketofocus to get yours. Let's make a sauce to go on this chicken because it will also help keep it juicy. Add a stick of butter and eight to 10 cloves of minced garlic to a bowl. Did I mention that this is also a great vampire repelling meal? If the garlic doesn't keep them away, this wooden steak will do the trick. Has to be a skinny vampire though. Heat this up in the microwave until it's melted. Then stir in a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, one tablespoon of dry ranch seasoning. You can omit this if you think that ranch seasoning is the devil. A teaspoon of red pepper flakes for some heat and three quarters of a cup of chopped parsley. You do want to reserve some of this sauce for later so that we don't cross contaminate the chicken. After battling all those vampires, it would be a bummer to go out with salmonella poisoning. Just saying. Air fryer time. We're gonna add the chicken skewers to the air fryer basket, leave some space around them so that the air can flow around and cook them all evenly. You're gonna air fry this at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for four minutes. Then you wanna flip that and then coat it with that garlic Parmesan sauce. Go ahead and give it a generous coating. Don't be shy at all with the sauce because that's where all that delicious flavor is. Then you wanna put this back into the air fryer and air fry again for another two minutes. After that, we're gonna flip it again, baste it more with that delicious garlic Parmesan sauce. This would actually be excellent on salmon bites or even steak bites if you don't wanna do chicken. Once it's generously basted, cook it for another five minutes or just until the chicken's cooked through. You don't wanna overcook it. Cook it until the internal temperature of your chicken is around 155 degrees. Fahrenheit, not Celsius, I'm American. After they're done, remove them from the air fryer and then using a clean brush, we're gonna brush with the reserved salmonella free sauce. Get both sides of it. Again, add a generous coating because the sauce is delicious. Then get a napkin because you are ready to eat these juicy chicken bites. If chicken skewers aren't your thing and you aren't really that worried about vampires so you could omit the garlic, then you must try another food that comes on the stick, which is a keto corn dog. Click right here to see how I make them. 